We're here to talk about our son, David Molak. From early on, he had a more sensitive side that we noticed. He just uh, you know, had a little more compassion and empathy for, for others. The cyberbullying started in the fall of his sophomore year. The platforms that they used to bully David was um, mainly through technology, um, Instagram, Facebook. Um, after school, some of the other anonymous sites, uh, regular texts, uh, videos. Like most kids, he was, he was attached to his uh, phone and uh, there were texts coming in or messages coming in constantly and that went uh, late into the night. It affects everything in their lives. I mean, they, they, they stop sleeping, you know, they can have nightmares, they can have anxiety, their stress, stress level goes way up. They just feel isolated and alone and humiliated. He became withdrawn. He was depressed didn't want to go to school, was afraid to go to school, slept a lot, and became angry at me because I couldn't fix the problem. Just seemed to be a, a shell of himself. He, he, before, he was just a happy and, and joyful person, and he was just, um, seemed more, more anxious and, and uh, reserved, and, and uh, he just wasn't the same. He felt isolated and alone, and because it had been shared with hundreds of people, he felt like the whole world was against him. Since his death, I have had a lot of those kids come to me and say how sorry they are that they did not stick up for him. They didn't know what to do. If the person, if your friend is not coping with it well, it's absolutely critical that you get an adult involved, that you tell an administrator, that you make sure that the individual's parents are involved, because quite quickly, these situations get out of hand and no one can cope with those things by themselves. We will never be the same. There's got to be some good that comes out of something so devastating. And that if we can help another child with this issue, um, bring awareness, um, pass a law, teach kids that there's a soul behind that screen. And, and when you say something mean, you don't know what kind of a day or what's going on in that child's life and how much of an impact that it can have on somebody. And the hundreds of people that have been affected, thousands of people that have been affected by David's death. It's just, a, it's a ripple effect. It's. Um, There just has to be some good that comes. We're here to talk about our son, David Molak, who took his life in January of this year.